but you guys like, you know, do it yet? We have done many things. We ride the bus together, and we have meaningful conversations about how your book club went and about her friends and, uh, you know, drama. Have you even kissed her? We almost held hands once, but then she got embarrassed. Well, aren't you pleased as punch? I don't know what you're talking about. Let's face it, filmmaking can get boring nowadays. It doesn't matter how many explosions you have, how star-studded the cast is, or how many sequels you make. If a movie is boring, it's boring. There's no director that brings a level of excitement to the industry like Edgar Wright. Wright is everything a filmmaker should aspire to be. He has a unique style, perfect framing, good timing, great soundtrack choices, he knows how to work with actors, he knows when to be sad, when to be hilarious, and when to be awesome. I mean, the guy knows what he's doing. Above all, I feel there is an aspect of each of his films that gets slightly overlooked, and that is his protagonists. Now, I don't want to sound too much like I'm worshipping this guy, because in every movie I feel a sense of connection to the protagonists, if the movie is good, that is. But what makes Wright's main characters feel so relatable and likable is the misunderstanding coming from those around them in the story. This isn't me saying, oh yeah, I relate so hard because I too am so misunderstood. That's not at all what I'm getting at. I'm saying that it's this aspect of his characters that creates this level of connection the audience makes with every film he puts out. Well, how does he do this? I believe his clearest example of using such a technique happens in Hot Fuzz. There's a scene in Hot Fuzz where our main character, Nick Angel, puts the puzzle pieces together and discovers his boss, Skinner, is the one killing everybody in town. Simon Skinner, I'm arresting you on suspicion of the murder of Leslie Tiller. Leslie Tiller's dead. But they all treat it like a joke and brush off the killings as accidents. What I love about this scene is how many birds it kills with one stone, no pun intended. We feel for Nick as we the audience saw through his perspective that these were, in fact, murders. We grow a hate for his co-workers, especially his boss and Skinner. And we gain a sense of sympathy right about here. Why were you there? I was buying! Constable Bottom and a Japanese peace lily for his birthday. What absolute or shit. It's this style of filmmaking that I can truly appreciate when watching an Edgar Wright film. It happens in basically every other film of his as well. Shaun of the Dead, when Shaun has to kill his own mother, we grow a stronger appreciation for Shaun's ex for stepping up to the plate. We grow a hatred for David for volunteering to kill his mother and basically acting like a douchebag the whole scene. And of course, we're incredibly connected and sympathetic with Shaun. This happens in Baby Driver as well, when Baby and his crew are at the diner and he can't act like he knows Deborah. We feel bad for Baby, we hate Bats, and we're of course sad for Deborah because she has no idea what's happening. You get the point. Scott Pilgrim is the only film that isn't as clear as this. Instead of Scott being misunderstood, it's more of him misunderstanding the world around him throughout the entire film, still allowing the audience to connect with him the same way we do every other character in Wright's catalog. I can get so much in such a short period of time and have that feeling of rush without being rushed. So often in a film, specifically action, I feel as though directors accept the fact that times in the movie where characters need to be established end up slowing down. They accept that reality and fall into a boring hole of filmmaking where those scenes are shot lazily, edited casually, and just written in a really boring way. I, I control it by surrendering control, it doesn't make any sense. Edgar Wright keeps in mind that every scene deserves full attention because every scene is its own thing. When every scene is its own thing and the audience member is fully invested in what they're watching, of course the feeling of connectivity between us and our protagonists is going to feel just that much stronger. This is why I praise how he makes his main characters, the style of filmmaking where even the slow moments where characters are developed have us on the edge of our seats is something that can't be done simply through the way the film is shot or edited. It's all done through character. You can't edit like Edgar Wright for Mission Impossible or The Matrix or any other action film because Ethan Hunt isn't Nick Angel and Neo isn't Baby. If you can't tell, I'm a huge fan of Wright's work not only from an entertainment perspective, but through a filmmaking perspective. It's easy to brush off his style as being quickly edited and uniquely shot, but those two aspects could not be done if not for the complex writing that goes into each character in his films. As always, go watch a movie, preferably Baby Driver if it's still in theaters, and thank you for watching. What the f